Hey guys, and welcome back. So today we're going to be watching What We Do in the Shadows, season three, episode nine, and then I cannot believe I'm at the season three finale already. Like, this is so crazy. I'm more than halfway through my binge watching because of course there's gonna be a sixth season, but I think by the looks of it, I'll be able to catch up before that even comes out. So I'm gonna be able to watch the final season live, which is so exciting. But yeah, currently I only have two more seasons left after this. So yeah, it's, it's so crazy how quickly this has gone by. I'm very much so looking forward to this season finale. So far the season finales have been so good so crazy I cannot wait to see what crazy thing they're gonna do this time around of course Nandor is probably still in his cage I think I mean I guess we'll see right because they could have just deprogrammed him to between episodes but I think it would be cool to see him be in the cage and then like Guillermo trying to get through to him and help him come back to his senses. I also wonder if we're gonna get some more information about energy vampires. That seemed to be what Colin's season-long arc was about, so hopefully we'll get some more answers on that. And yeah, I'm just very excited to jump into this, so if you guys are interested, you can watch the full unedited reaction to this up on my Patreon. The link is gonna be in the description down below. And let's just get into the episode. Let's try this. What does this look like? Huh? Oh shit! Yeah, Andrew's okay. deprogramming is taking longer than we thought. Look at his hair! It grew so much! How long has it been? You are clearly brainwashed. I am not brainwashed. For years, I have single-handedly held this house together. <laughs> you mock me. You disrespect- <laughs> Lodge's face! You are the laziest vampire I have ever had the misfortune of meeting. Thank you. Only the silver <laughs> dick in your mouth. <laughs> Never even lifted a hand to help me in this house. No. Nope. Because they were both too occupied giving constant self-pleasure. Nadja. I was like, yep, that's my life in a nutshell. Uh, do me next. This is fun. I would not even remember <laughs> your name if it was not written on a piece of paper that I keep in my pocket at all times. Shit, Mandel. Oh my god. I finally find a place where I am happy. You drag me away from my new life back into this hell. Oh. Nando, I'm so sorry. Sick and tired of being sick and tired. Which is why I've decided there's only one solution. Which is what? For me to take a super slumber. No, 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 no. What? No. What is that? What's happening? Terrible idea. What's happening? I don't know, man. What does that mean? He's just gonna go to sleep for like a month? A year? A decade? A century? I can keep going. A millennia? Like, what does that mean? It is basically a vampire hibernation. It is performed when times are particularly hard for vampires, a way of oh. sitting out a bad epoch in history. The super slumber <laughs> consists That's fun. of sleeping for either 50 years, 100 years, or worst case scenario, up to 300 years. Oh my God, that's crazy. Those who enter super slumber fall into a dark, dreamless existence. When they wake, they are weak, pathetic, empty, starved, nothings. And every Nandor, you can't do this. It really is the most desperate measure for any vampire. Oh, shit, we have to talk him out of this. And it must be respected. <laughs> What? We're doing this? No, but Guillermo, he loves him. Perhaps we will see each other again, but probably not. <laughs> Nandor, if I may. You're kidding, right? Nandor the Relentless. <laughs> I have enjoyed our it's time you. together at the Vampiric Council where we have achieved so much. Mm. Have you though? Because together, we get it done. May this super slumber ease your <laughs> She's campaigning for the re-election. Nan. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Sorry, our chap, I thought I'd written more, but I haven't. Thank you. Yeah, you were too busy banging off, right? Doing this to get out of coming to my 100th birthday party tonight. <laughs> I did not even know that it was your birthday today. And that's another reason I'm crying. Okay, well. Oh no, I'm so sorry, Colin. I bid you all farewell. Oh, farewell. Farewell. You're kidding me. That's it? Farewell. It's like this. Colin, come on. <laughs> Eat shit. Eat shit. My dear Guillermo, you will yes. miss me. Klaus the late. <laughs> what a goodbye speech. Dude, what's gonna happen here? Will he not be able to go into his little deep slumber? You're pouring up his room. Can they be awoken from their slumber? And like, who decides if it's 50, 100, or 300 years? It's just random? The Supreme Worldwide. Vampiric Council has invited yes. you to receive a delegation from the old world here at your home 
with the intent of inspecting the progress you've made thus far in running the council. Uh-oh, they're getting fired. I have always dreamed of meeting someone important. No one important ever came to our village. There was one time that the rubbish man came to collect all the shit and he assigned uh, pieces of rubbish for the children and autographed it. We danced for the next three months, so you can imagine. <laughs> this is just, wow, very exciting for me. And when will this delegation be arriving? Oh my Let's God. On the night of... Tonight? Tonight? What? That's too quick. I've already arranged with some local band pass to come around for Colin Robinson's birthday. You did? I, I have to share my birthday party with a- Yes! You're lucky to have a birthday party! <laughs> Poor Colin. It's not his day. Ideas? I should wake him up. We'll just wake him up. I should wake him up. Wake him up. Okay. Oh, let's go! We can wake him up! 800 years really went by so fast. <laughs> well, no. It's because technically- yeah, You look. Awful. Okay. Ravages of time have not been kind to you and your formerly boyish <laughs> Oh my fit. god, just stop talking. Why don't you just delay your super slumber a couple of days? You wouldn't miss Colin Robinson's birthday. Why do you Why would I give a flying fuck Robinson's about that? Birthday? Because Laszlo and Colin are butts now, and I love that. Master, I really wish you were Again with it. the make me of empire shit? No, no, no. I don't even care about that anymore. I just... I don't want you to go. You don't? Are you kidding? Just stick around for the next hundred years and we'll be together again when I wake up. I'll be 130 years old, aka dead. You don't know <laughs> that. Um, yeah, he does. Shit, you haven't signed his card. I love this so much. Last is such a sweetie. I, I, I want to make sure you gather around me in a circle when I do the Humpty Hump. You betcha. Oh, you betcha. Dominica's the dreadfuls human lady friend coco what, what? <laughs> hi coco partner girlfriend <laughs> she keeps me young yeah we're engaged to be engaged i don't want to put a label on what we have which really is so special oh, coco leave while you still can you know he's not going to die you are this not going Mr. to get Dreadful. his money do you happen to have any human food for my consort she doesn't like blood and she doesn't care much for grown up food either. What do you mean, grown up food? Chicken nuggies for the young lady with a side of spaghetti with only butter. Oh, gross. Has everyone remembered to sign Colin Robinson's birthday card? <laughs> Where is your co leader? The famed Nandor the Relentless. He's very busy. Nandor was a threat to my power, so, uh, in order to run the council correctly, you kill him? Kill him dead. Oh. Excuse me? Uh oh. Excellent work, Nadja. <laughs> yeah, good job. We love murder. See his body? Fixed. Okay. Nothing would make. What are we gonna do? You are kidding, right? I've been in for what? 20 minutes? Half an hour? It's actually been two hours. Oh, great. A nice two hour long super slumber. I've had orgasms that have lasted longer than that. Really? Yes. And it's not as pleasant as it might sound. Well, as you know, the delegation. Yeah, that sounds like a lot, actually. We're going to take a very quick look because it is going to be very sad. It's going to be very sad. He truly was one of the greats. Was he, though? As a warrior? Yeah, he was. He was okay. Mm. Pretty good. Mm. The jury what do you is... mean? He was great. Nandor the Relentless. Mm -hmm. He finally relented. It is said that the, he had one of the most impressive members in <laughs> all of vampiredom. Both in length and in girth. Yeah, well, that's true. Is it? Um, <gasps> I've, heard, I've oh. also heard it said. <laughs> Shall we take a peek? Yeah, what are you doing with Nandor? Okay, well, we've, we've done that now. Look, I so... am not saying it's small. No. No, no, it's I'm... not small. No. Dude, you all need to stop talking about this. Anything of note? No, it seems to be of average weight and, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Wiggliness. Yeah, it just seems like Ugh. a standard <laughs> mid tier pecker. <pecadilla. laughs> Thank you for that, Guillermo. A wonderful send off. Close <laughs> the fucking lid and get out of here. Yes. A wonderful send off. I'm so sorry, Dandor. The other happens to be the 100th birthday. Of our housemate, our friend, and the energy vampire, Colin Robbins. Their friendship is so pure. He's left his mark on my heart. It's so adorable. I don't even particularly like the fella. I mean, I can't stand the man, but I'm proud to call him my friend. Please be upstanding 
for Colin Robinson. Colin Robinson. Colin Robinson is dying. What? What? <gasps> I'm sorry, what? Colin Robinson will be dead by sunrise. <gasps> I'm sorry, what? I've known for months. The what? very first time Colin and I were in the Vampiric Council Library, but what I found shocked me. Energy vampires, it said, have a life expectancy of exactly 100 years. You're kidding. No. What? I wank my way and you wank yours. On their <gasps> 100th birthday, they Oh expire. my god. No fucking way. Maybe he can't be wrong. Maybe he's 100 yet. I haven't had the heart to tell him. And eventually, I realized Better for the poor bastard to not know at all. Dude, that's why he became his friend? Better for me to show him a good time during his last months of life. <laughs> I thought they were just bonding and it was so cute. I didn't realize that Laszlo was doing all this because he knew he was going to die. That's not true though, right? Like there's no way they're actually killing him off. I also feel this could be the beginning of... Hey guys, I think I'm gonna pass on the, the fucking suck show. I'm feeling a little funny tummy. Oh no! No, he's not dying! The dying has begun. Are you sure? Are you sure you read that right? Are you sure he's not just like mutating into something else? Sorry, I, I'm ruining my own birthday party. You know what though, I feel like I'm rallying. Maybe we can have some birthday fun after oh, all. No. No, no, there is no way. I don't believe this. Kind of feel like the first hundred years of my life were wasted. So starting tomorrow, Colin Robinson's motto is young, dumb, and full of calm. <laughs> now that we're not related, you and I, or anyone, in a weird way, we're still a family. We're like a big family here. Yeah, you are. Diet ginger ale. For his tummy. Yeah, you could have the sugary kind, it's fine. It's not gonna go to your hips. You're too late. He's gone. No, he's not. He's, he's like a Pokemon. He's just going through an evolution. You guys are really incredible, you know that? This fucking guy is not dead. Nando, he's dead. <sighs> Thank God. Do you not remember the last time he was dead? When we dug his grave and we buried him in the ground and it turns out he was faking it the whole time just to get attention. And that was like the fifth time we'd fallen for his... Oh, I'm dead. Fifth time? No way. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Enough of this shit. No, hey. no way. <gasps> oh, what the fuck? Guess he wasn't faking it. Well, this is very sad. You're kidding! Don't you fucking dare end the episode! If, after having been exposed to someone's presence... I'm sorry! He's not that! That's... He, no! What the fuck? There's no way they killed him off! This is a fun little comedy! They did not just kill him off! He's coming back in the finale! Like, what? Okay, well thank god I don't have to wait a week because we're going into the finale and we're seeing how Colin Robinson is coming back to life. Like, that is exactly what's going to happen. Hey, the Baron's back. That's awesome. Con Robinson is no longer with us. I no, mean, I don't believe it. I mean, their only funeral type tradition is that they get a new portrait made with all of them except for the newly deceased. And I don't think that's a really healthy way of dealing with the loss of a family member. I, I, no. Also, I like that Guillermo is part of the family portrait. I did think this was sort of a vampire's only portrait. Hey, he is a valued member of the team and has every right to be in this portrait. So Cute. Even though he is a dog. I wasn't talking about the doggy <gasps> half. I was talking about Gizmo. Gizmo, okay. <laughs> So maybe they need to make a new vampire. I, I, I just Is this it. how he becomes a vampire? But I truly believe that that's what's needed. To really restore that. And I deserve it. <laughs> <laughs> dude, dude, dude. What? No way. No way they just killed Colin. So that you dream to the world. Stay dead, stay dead, stay dead. You're dead and out of this world. They took him out! They took him out of the- They took him- They took- Dude! No! No! Absolutely not! I don't believe this! They're lying to us! This is a trick! I mean, we're all still mourning the death of Colin Robinson. I'm not. Well, that's what I'm talking about. When what do you mean you're not? You're having a picture painted. Then we will have a picture that Colin Robinson is not in and we can forget about him forever and this will heal us. It will not heal me. Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Mm. You're cool. Fuck you! <laughs> My search for love has been stymied at every turn. I'm a lesbian. Are you sure? <laughs> Definitely sure. Would you do me the honor? Oh, Amandor. I discovered that there's no meaning or purpose to the universe because of the Big Bang Theory. <laughs> On top of all that, the death of Colin Robinson, it has 
I must confess, hit me quite hard. Life is precious. Even so-called eternal life can be snuffed out at a moment's notice. Colin Robinson's head imploding into a pile of goo has made me realize that I need to make the most of my life. Which is why I've decided to leave Staten Island and travel the world. What? Visit the great fields of... Did they think they were gonna get cancelled? This is why they're doing this episode. He's leaving. Colin's dead. What the hell is going on? I can just pack a bag and go on a world tour with you at the drop of a hat. You're not coming with me. Yeah, I was like, he didn't invite you, Bessie. You are one of the things I need to get away from to make a fresh start. No offense. Well, offense taken. Nadja and Leslo, they are itching to get away. These vampire pods, they don't last forever. And I'm not gonna be the last one in here all alone like a fucking loser. But you wouldn't be alone, you could have Guillermo. Open your eyes, Nandor. I said you were having a hard time dealing with Colin Robinson's very disgusting and tragic death. Well, that would be bullshit then, wouldn't it, my darling? I couldn't give a tinker's fig. People die all the time. <laughs> Animals die, oh, plants guess die. Oh my god, Nacha! I think she's the one who's dealing very badly with it. How's about me and you take a lovely little trip back to merry old England? No. We could get a red <laughs> bus and make love in it. We could get a black cat and make love in it. We could go to Madame Tussauds and look around. <laughs> You know this, I made a precious vow never to go back there again. Lasso! United Kingdom. United Ding Dong, more like. <laughs> this is not taping over RuPaul, you see? Because I haven't seen that latest episode. Draco! You must know by now that I've had my eye on you for quite some time. Your work on your local vampiric council has been quite impressive. Yes, Queen. Everyone is going on about it. <laughs> yes, and thus, Queen. we would be delighted for you to join us in London, in England, where you will take a position that ranks amongst the highest of- Are they actually all leaving? I do hope you'll accept this offer promptly, because as you know, vampires hate waiting. Even though we're immortal, waiting is just still a thing. Dude, what the f fuck is going on? Are they all just going their separate ways? Even Nadja and Laszlo? Of course I want to leave. It is such a great honor and opportunity. And I would have a chance to finally do something with my stupid eternal life. Laszlo doesn't go. Then you certainly won't go. I literally just said that to you. <gasps> I'm afraid it's like a party and as soon as one person leaves the party and another person decides that it's okay for them to leave the party before you know the whole party is over and you devoted 12 years of your life to a certain type of party and it's not gonna end like this. Oh, I don't know about that. Maybe it will end like this. If this has anything to do with the fact that I won't let anybody touch Colin Robinson's body yet I myself have not been down to the basement to pay my respects. I can answer that. So he could have come back to life, right? Treachery was afoot and I was expelled from the Sherwood Club of London. Why? Did you wank in one of their sacred rooms? I would never, ever, 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 ever go back to- Okay, so the gang is staying together. Your English is coming along nicely. Hey guys. Hey. Hey. You see, you have made progress. Oh, let's go, sire. She is an expert on international vampire travel. It's true, I book all- You're kidding. Anyway, we figured out all the details, so you don't have to worry about the thing. No, I mean, I don't think you thought- uh Oh, we're fucked. Put your ancestral soil in your giant sport, so it's always on your back, then you can just lie down anywhere. What's a giant sport? It's, it's, it's a, backpack. a backpack. It's a very popular backpack. It's children's backpack. <laughs> Are they sponsored by them? But I'm excited for this trip now. It's gonna be a real eat, pray, love kind of journey for me. What do you mean? You seen the movie? You're gonna pray? Well, how am I gonna eat if I don't pray on people, dummy? Now you <laughs> must travel by <laughs> railway and- That's a good one. You know that we're all a little bit shaken up by the death of Colin Robinson. Speak for yourself. I'm as dry as a nun's doodah. Well, regardless, we have to remember that there's the family that you're born into, and then there's your chosen family. Not gonna touch that one. We're a chosen family, and it's a rare thing- I've been over the job in England and I want to move there! Over my dead body. Oh, God, oh no. I have decided to leave the island of Staten, travel the world, and. The island of Staten? You are so selfish, Laszlo. She's right. I made a vow never to return to that cag house. But why? You know why. The British are a pack of classes wankers. Here, here. <laughs> Who said here, here? What they did object to, however, was the fact that I fell in love and eventually married the most beautiful. Simple girl. Simple? A girl with no surname, no social standing. Oh. They actually called her a peasant girl. Those bitches. This is the most beautiful girl I have ever known. That girl's name 
Yes, my darling. My name. It's your name. Naji. Oh, that's so sweet. I would be returning to England to assume a position on the Supreme Vampiric Council. What, with what? We would be going back as the tip of the tops of the upper classes. Really? Yeah. Well, that changes pretty much fucking everything. Count oh. me in. Ah. No, oh, no. my God, they're leaving. They're all leaving. What the fuck? Rule Britannia. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Then I mean, the portraits aren't even done, so we could just check no, it's in. it's almost done. What? And that's that. So, hey. you're all free to go oh, about doing no. whatever the hell. Oh, no. What do you mean? Did you guys know that the show was renewed for a fourth season at this point? Because I would have been freaking the fuck out if I didn't know that. If it wasn't for me, you would be dead by now. If not by assassins, then by my very own hands. Because I am, and I will remind you by birth and lineage, a vampire killer. And the only reason you're alive. Oh my God, the music. I let you live. Oh shit, Guillermo! Tell him how it is! The only reason you're alive is because I let you live. Oh my fucking god! Get it, Guillermo! You forgot that we hypnotized you to make it physically impossible for you to harm me or any of your masters. Yeah, right, that definitely worked! Because we used hypnosis. <laughs> ah, yeah. Hypnosis doesn't work on me. I just let you think you're dead so you wouldn't feel weak. I never feel weak, my furry little friend. <laughs> furry little friend? Oh my god, what are they doing? No, 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 what are they doing? Master, your, your sword needs polishing. It does? Oh, oh dude, you're so dumb. Holy shit, what are you doing? Blanca! Don't you dare! Ow. Is this Guillermo flirting? What's a familiar? Always a familiar! <laughs> what is happening? Yes! Finally! This is what I've been waiting for. What? You have passed the test. He's lying. Don't trust him. Don't trust him, Guillermo. You have proved to me finally that you can take care of yourself. And more importantly, you can take care of me. So you're gonna go on your journey together? Will you do me the honor of accompanying me on my journey around the world? No way. When we arrive at the banks of the river Tigris, in my homeland of El Canada. You're gonna turn him into a vampire? And I will make you a vampire. <sighs> oh my god, no way! No freaking way! Really? My word is my bond. Oh my god, I'm so excited! Yes, of course, I go with you, Master. There will be plenty of time for that kind of thing. Right. Yeah, there will be? Well, look at his little face! Let a great journey commence! Oh, he's leaving him behind. That little fucker can really move when he wants to. <laughs> I thought he was gonna leave him behind. But the real thing I'm looking forward to is traveling the whole world with my Nanda master. With my Nanda is so adorable. I started to help Naja and Lazo load their coffin into the boat. Why are you helping them when my ancestors were solid scoping? Because it's the last <laughs> time I could say goodbye to them. I thought you understand. Oh, Guillermo. <laughs> He's like, oh, yeah, Mom, you know I would never understand. Can you take my luggage to the train station? I don't want to carry it to the dock and then have to carry it back to the train station. Hey, like, what am I working for you now? <laughs> I'm kidding, Guillermo. I will take your bag for you. Okay, gracias. What? You are a vampire I have known for a while now, and now our time together has ended. Cheers, bye. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, bye. What the fuck? Laszlo, where are you? It's time to get you. Oh. What? What's going on? What were you doing in the basement, my dear? Nothing, just taking care of some business. Oh my... What? What's going on with Colin? He's not dead, is he? Are you okay? Do you need a bit more time? Not at all, I feel fine. Let's rock and roll. What? What happened in the basement? He's actually taking his luggage like he's so cute! Oh my god, look at him! It has been nice. Yeah. My darling. That's not too bad. That's a pretty good goodbye from her. Safe passage, my darling. <laughs> Why? You in? Oh, I thought he wasn't gonna go with her. Why do you have water and food if you can't even eat it? <laughs> it's Oreos and Pedialyte. Oh, no! He's gonna push Guillermo into the coffin! Why? Why is he doing that? It's a lot of Oreos. Make sure you look after my wife. What? Ah! No! no! What is Lasso doing? What the fuck? Wait for me! Oh, Nando's gonna think Guillermo abandoned him! 
Tesla, what are you doing? Yeah, bro! No, he needs you. He's in danger. But you have Gizmo at your side. If he has not expired or drowned in his own filth during the transatlantic crossing, I did cut a small hole in the bottom of the coffin, so if he is either accurate or persistent, he should be fine. Oh my god, Laszlo, what the fuck? Guillermo is a damn good bodyguard. He will keep you safe. And that you needed me about at all times to take care of you. But that is no longer true were it ever so. Oh my. What the fuck? I told you he was freeborn! Shit. What the fuck does that mean though? Did he climb out of himself? Whose existence is even more terrifying and mysterious than our own. What? Who actually are weak and defenseless. He's a baby? Is he raising a baby? And care. <laughs> Hello? Oh! oh my god! What the fuck? Shit. Come away from that thing, please! What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? What the Jesus Christ! Just squaring it up. And a little <laughs> Our love is young. Jesus fucking Christ! Are you insane? What the fuck was that? Holy shit. Well, rip to the people who were listening to that with headphones on. I'm sorry, I was not expecting to scream or to be jump scared. What the fuck is going on? Is Laszlo raising Colin Robinson? And will he grow quicker than a normal baby? Or will he just be a baby for the rest of the show? Because like, I'm assuming it would be real time, right? Like another three or four years. I'm sorry, what the hell was this episode? I'm freaking the fuck out. Ow, oh, like Nandor and Guillermo were finally on the same page and he was going to turn him into a vampire and they were gonna go on their cute little getaway and vacation and holiday together and Maslow ruined it which I mean I understand he's trying to protect his wife it's very sweet but Jesus fucking Christ why didn't he go with her I mean I know why because he's taking care of Colin Robinson but you could have brought Colin Robinson with you you know you could have raised a baby in England that would be fine Dude, I've never been more shocked in my life like this was their most insane season finale just yet i'm like i don't know what to do like this was messed up what the fuck man i'm so fucking happy i don't have to wait a year or however long it was between season three and season four i think that would have killed me like actually killed me because i just think this was the most insane I i'm sorry i know i said it already but like what do you mean like Nandor is off on his own and he thinks Guillermo abandoned him like that is so sad it's gonna make me cry like I love how I didn't cry while Colin died which I mean I kind of assumed that he wasn't actually dead but Nandor standing alone at the train station really really got to me like that is just way too sad and my goodness I don't know what's gonna happen next I wonder how they're gonna get back together you know how they're gonna come back to Staten Island after how long will that happen? Like, will Guillermo actually stay with Nadja and protect her? Or will he leave as soon as he's able to and then try and go and find Nandor? Like, oh my god, imagine the beginning of next season where Guillermo gets to Nandor just in time when he's at the sea of something. I forgot what he said, like where they're gonna go, where he's gonna turn him into a vampire. Like how romantic would it be if that's when Guillermo caught up to him and he could explain to him what happened. Oh my god, I just, I'm so excited for next season. I cannot wait to see how they're gonna resolve all of these plot lines. But man, this Colin storyline is very intriguing and very gross. First of all, that's an abomination. I didn't think they could come up with anything worse and creepier than the Nadja doll and here they are. A Colin baby. Absolutely the fuck not. I'm grieved out by that thing. But it's so interesting. Like, was Colin always sort of alive? Like, every hundred years, his body dies, but then he's reborn? So that's where energy vampires come. But we don't know where they come from. Like, where did they originate from? Like, how did Colin end up like this? But maybe he was actually just adopted, right? Because he does have parents and the family and he remembers them but he doesn't know where he comes from as an energy vampire so he was 
kind of born this way. So his parents are just his adoptive parents, like not biologically, which is so intriguing and crazy. I hope we can learn more about that next season because I was not expecting that. Like I figured that he wasn't that dead. I just couldn't picture them actually kill Carly Robinson. But this whole baby thing is not what I thought would happen. So yeah, I'm very, very curious to see what they're gonna do with this next season and to see this Colin Laszlo friendship morph into a father-son relationship or something. Like what is going to happen? I, I'm so curious. Oh yeah, overall, these two episodes were great. First one stressed me out because I thought Colin died. Second one stressed me out because everybody was leaving and just the whole Nandor Guillermo thing still makes me so sad. I'm really, really looking forward to that reunion in season four and hopefully Guillermo can explain to Nandor what happened and Nandor can forgive him and they can actually fall in love. Like, I feel like that romance is such a good slow burn. So I really, really hope we can continue on that journey and see them become a couple later down the line. And I'm also excited for Nadja's reaction when she wakes up in England and Laszlo isn't there and he didn't even tell her technically why he's staying behind. Like I'm assuming the reason is because of the Colin baby, right? Like after that is when he made up his mind to do this or was it before already? I'm not sure, like I'm not sure about the sequence of events. So yeah, I'm excited to see Nadja's reaction to the whole thing. And yeah, I can't wait to see how they're all gonna end up back in Staten Island because that has to happen, right? Like they're not just gonna live separately from now on and we just follow the individual characters in their own storylines, right? God, I hope not. I need them to be back together because I love my little vampire pod. This found chosen family. It's so good. It's so great. So yeah, I need them to get back together like ASAP. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. Sorry for screaming into your ears, but I really appreciate you guys watching. And as always, a huge, huge shout out goes out to all my Patreons for supporting me. Thank you guys so much. You guys are the best. I really appreciate every single one of you. And if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like, leave a comment down below and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. I tried so hard, but all these scars, they cut so deep, I bleed. I fell so fast from heaven, it's like someone.